WHSS Hamilton and online at sacredheartradio.com. Sacred Heart Radio. On this first Friday of the month of January, it's the 6th, the feast traditionally of the Epiphany. It's a better way to start your day, the Sunrise Morning Show, here on the EWTN Global Catholic Radio Network, a production of Sacred Heart Radio in Cincinnati. Good morning, I'm Brian Patrick, along with Matt Swaim and Anna Mitchell. It's 8-11 on the Sunrise Morning Show. Father Gerard Lagleader joins us this morning to talk about his outreach to AIDS orphans in Africa. Good morning, Father. Good morning to you. Good to have you with us on the Sunrise Morning Show. You're with the Brotherhood of Blessed Gerard, the relief organization of the Order of Malta in South Africa. What kind of relief work are you doing there? Well, there are basically two main uh, pillars of our work. One is our work for children. The other one is our work for patients uh, being actually positive and suffering from AIDS. We run the largest hospice with the largest inpatient unit in South Africa. We have a treatment program for eight patients in antiretroviral treatment where more than 500 patients are involved. We do home care, we do inpatient care for terminal patients. And, of course, we look after children. We have a children's home where we don't only have abandoned children and sick children, but also children who have been abused, children who have, uh, who have been malnourished and who have been neglected by their families. So these are the main uh, regions of our work. All right, Father, we're getting a little bit of breakup in our signal. Are you able to hear me okay? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm all right, yes. Okay. Well, we're going to keep going here in hopes that it'll clear up. Uh, we don't hear as much about AIDS as we used to. Obviously, there's still a dire situation around the world. What is the situation regarding AIDS in South Africa now? The problem in South Africa is that we have still uh, infection rate rising. So it is not stagnating, it's still rising. In South Africa, we already happy if the increase rate is declining, but it's still an increase. And that is uh, quite demoralizing because we have worked for years and years and years telling people how to behave, how to avoid HIV in spreading, but people don't listen. People um, just um, carry on in their lifestyle, and this is why our HIV infection rate is so high, especially also because it is coming together with poverty where people can't afford to live, and so there are many young ladies who just uh, sell their body to remain and uh, basically to survive. And this is a fatal situation we have in South Africa. Aside from the obvious, obviously people are dying of AIDS. I'm sure that some are also uh, being treated successfully. But what are some of the most common challenges that South Africans who suffer from AIDS face that you're able to help them with? I think the main challenge is a financial challenge. Uh, We used to be heavily funded by PEPFAR, the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief in Africa from the U.S. presidency, but uh, their help has declined, Um, so uh, the money is uh, much less, which comes from there, and we have to look for alternate funding, which is extremely difficult for amounts of that magnitude. The South African government has promised to come in, but there is a long red tape until things are going. We have been promised that the government would come in, but to this day it hasn't happened in actual fact. So we are in dire need of financial support. And the other big problem we have with AIDS is that people just deny it. The people pretend it's not there, it's not that bad, and therefore we are still on the increase. So it is extremely difficult to get the people to have an HIV test. So that if you find out they are HIV positive, you could help them. 
and you could give them another 20, 30, maybe even more years of good life, but people don't listen and they uh, pretend it's not there. Well, we appreciate the work the Brotherhood of Blessed Gerard is doing with AIDS victims in South Africa. We're joined by Father Gerard Lagleader from South Africa this morning. We're having a little trouble hearing him, but we are able to get most of this conversation. And Father, what are you able to do for AIDS orphans in your work with the Brotherhood of Blessed Gerard? Well, we run a large children's home where AIDS orphans, and not only AIDS orphans, but also children suffering from AIDS, meaning being HIV positive, are um, enrolled and where we, of course, do the treatment. Um, so uh, the children's home is one of our major tasks to fulfill, and it's so gratifying to see how you can help those children coming into the care center, coming into our um, hospice and into our children's home where you think they wouldn't make the right, and after a few weeks you get them right. And then they're happy and healthy children, although they are HIV positive, they have a wonderful future for many, many years to come. And this is actually a thing which is wonderful, and we are so grateful that it is possible. Well, thank you and the Brotherhood of Blessed Gerard for being the hands and feet of Christ in South Africa, treating AIDS victims and AIDS orphans. Would you encourage our listeners to help you with support? Tell us how we could do that. Well, uh, I think the best thing is for those people who are on the Internet to go onto our website, and that's quite easy. It's BBG, B for blue, another B for blue, G for green, dot O-R-T dot Z-A. I repeat, BBG dot O-R-T dot Z-A. And if you go onto that website, then you'll find a link how you can help us we do have um, an account in the United States where people even get a tax certificate. So that would be wonderful if it could get help from there. All right, Father Gerard Legleader, we've linked that link on our blog at sunrisemorningshow.com for the Brotherhood of Blessed Gerard, again, supporting the AIDS victims and AIDS orphans in South Africa, doing the good work there. Father Gerard, thank you so much for being with us, and we hope that this will be a good year for your ministry. I thank you, too, and God bless you, and God bless all your listeners, and a happy and blessed New Year to you, too. All right. Thank you for your blessing, Father.